Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of set number 1354, the LEGO Studios Dino Head Attack. This set is ages 7 to 16 and contains 92 pieces. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. This is a LEGO set that I got on my 2015 YouTube Secret Santa haul and it's all the way from 2001. This set comes with two minifigures and of course the dino for the dino head attack. Here's the first minifigure and it is the dino head operator. As you can see he's wearing blue pants here. Up at his torso he's got a white muscle shirt on as you can see he's got like glasses and a screwdriver and an ID badge. Here on the back of the torso he does have back printing as you can see it's a movie clapperboard that says grip. Up at his head here he's got like a normal head with like a headset on so he can talk to the director and stuff like that as well as a blue ball cap. The next minifigure is the female Johnny Thunder. As you can see, she has black pants. Her torso looks like the Johnny Thunder torso. It's got some pockets and a, like a bandana around her neck. As you can see, she has no back printing. Up at her face here, she's got kind of like, they're not sideburns, but they're where her hair's tucked into her hat, kind of showing. And then she's got bright red lipstick on. And as you can see, she sort of has like a little cowboy hat on. This minifigure also comes with a cat that she chases around and tries to get away from the dino head. The dino head here is quite a bit larger and longer than I expected it to be. Off to the side here is the operator. So as you can see it is put up on these slopes with a 360 degree turning platform. Up top here there's some more bricks as well as these two levers, you know, up and down, side to side I guess. And then there's a red and a green button, maybe to say red to stop and green to go. The whole dino head is actually is operated with this Technic axle sort of thing. As you can see it hooks onto the Technic brick and it just kind of moves up and down. And then if you want to go side to side, it just kind of swivels. At the top here there's also this white chair. So here's what it looks like. As I said it is quite long and when you want to move it up and down you just kind of use your finger to move it up and down and you turn the platform around. It is quite top heavy as you can see I can lift it up but it just like falls right back down but that's okay because like your minifigure has to hold it up anyway. Over here as you can see is another Technic piece where the minifigure or you actually are supposed to like touch and move the head up and down. Here's what the face looks like. They use a really cool technique there with the Technic bricks to kind of hide the eye, which is really cool. I like that a lot. As you can see, the dino has really big teeth, and when you like pull the lever, you can go up and down and like practically eat a minifigure. The dino looks pretty similar from the other side. Very, very neat looking, and it actually does look like a dinosaur. His mouth does fall all the way back here, so you can kind of see the different use of inverted slopes to give it the teeth look. Down here, you can see more of the slopes, and they actually use a couple tiles for his like tongue, and you honestly can fit a minifigure in here so he can eat her. The overall head uses a lot of detail just to give it the whole dinosaur three-dimensional look, and honestly, it does a very good job. As I mentioned, the minifigure does sit in a seat there to operate it, and he can move it up and down, and then the minifigure, or you, controls his mouth while the camera operator, or the grip operator, controls the dino. It appears as though the dino head is actually modeled off this very tiny dinosaur. There may only be 92 pieces in this set, but they're quite large pieces, so when you just open the box, you just feel like you're getting more pieces, because nowadays, like, a lot of LEGO sets contain very small pieces, but their piece count is higher. Thanks everybody for watching this review of set number 1354, the LEGO Studios Dino Head Attack. This is a very awesome set and is a great addition to my LEGO collection, and a huge thanks to Bubba Bricks for sending it out. Thanks everybody so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more LEGO videos daily.